Avebury Stone Circle, the biggest stone circle in the world in Wiltshire, England. And this is the site I have visited more than any other since I used to live it's a half an hour's drive from here. I've been here a good few hundred times. Studied it very greatly. I know every stone in every position, but still have no clue as to its purpose. Anyone who claims they do is not telling the truth. There's an entire village in the middle these days, as you can see. This is uh, one side, if you like. Goes all the way around there. In the distance, you can see in the background, hopefully, the uh, ditch. And this ditch was originally nearly a hundred feet deep, about 30 meters. It's slowly filled in over the years, as you can see, materials slid down the hill and filled it up slightly. And it was also completely white because of the chalk underneath. Would have been quite a sight in those days. Lots of theories have been put forward for the purpose of Avebury, but uh, no one has any real clue. Certainly a huge place. <laughs> Would have been a mammoth undertaking to build this site. The rocks were taken from the Marlborough Downs about uh, just a couple of miles from here in this direction. And it's also a thousand years older than Stonehenge as the traditional dating goes. I'm not sure I trust them completely, but uh, they obviously base those dates on organic finds. Just moving away, there's a couple coming. There's an inner circle there as you can see, and there's even an inner square which was only recently discovered. It's very unusual to have a square inside a circle, but... So this is the top of the outer ditch. It's not a hill fort, so I can't call it ramparts or anything like that. It was never used as a hill fort. It was used as a... Well, nobody knows, do they? <laughs> Some say a ceremonial centre or something, but... Um, who knows what it was used for? Lots of theories. A place of the dead, a place of this, a place of that. It's all guesswork, really. As I said, I've been coming here for years and studying this place more than any other, and I am none the wiser. Beautiful setting, though. A beautiful day today, too. It's uh, glorious, gloriously warm for February. We don't get to these temperatures normally in February. It's about 18 degrees today. Um, normally it should be around 8, 9, 10 maybe if we're lucky. So, very, very fortunate. Behind that hill there is Silbury Hill, which is a part of the um, site as well. Nobody knows what that was built for either. And you can't see it from here, but there's another hill far in the distance. There's uh, some burial tombs up there. Another hill, 